Hello everyone, this is a video on validating flow output measurement methods for a ram pump. This is a half inch ram pump that I sell as a kit on eBay and maybe other stores soon. You can check for a link in the description to buy one. It does require water that's falling down a slope to operate. The three testing methods I wanna try here, this one is just a normal delivery pipe that runs way up the hillside. This is just going to be regulated by a valve here. By turning the valve on a little bit, we can match the back pressure as measured by this gauge here and make sure that the back pressure uh, created by the valve being partially shut or partially open matches the other two methods. The third method here is my artificial back pressure device which is a forced airlock system. And that's airlock in the terms of piping systems, not space travel. Part of the reason for testing these is so that I don't have to walk up the hill 20 times to run a full test scenario on a pump. In this artificial back pressure device, we have water that pushes up the first tube and then trickles down through an air column on the second tube and fills up and pushes up water as the third column. And the third column can't push back because it's pushing against a column of air that's pressurized now. So it increases pressure for each vertical rise of water in the apparatus. In this setup, from the elevation there to here, I'm getting about eight PSI of back pressure by the forced airlock. Eight PSI is equivalent to 18 and a half feet of delivery height. So it's the equivalent of the ram pump pumping water up 18 feet higher than it is currently. And yet only this five foot distance. These pipes are so large so that there isn't a siphon effect that can form. The water has so much area to you know trickle through it can't form a siphon and can't then negate the artificial back pressure the output here is at the same effective elevation as the other green hose that i have way up the hill let's go check it out now for this demonstration both the artificial back pressure and the traditional delivery pipe are open they're both flowing about the same amount of water so i know that the effective delivery height is the same for them. Let's turn off the artificial one. Okay, here we are up at the top. Uh, traditional delivery method validation location. We are about 18 and a half feet above the testing setup down there. And that's at ground floor of my house. And here we are, we can see that we're at the roof line of the second story. So that is about 18 feet. Let's test how long it takes to get two cups of water. Time, 50 seconds. Now let's switch over to the artificial back pressure device. Time, 43 seconds. Now I'm going to modulate the output here to achieve approximately the same pressure. This is just a washer dryer hose. Let's set that right there. Let's measure this output now.
and time. 39 seconds. Okay, you may have noticed a large variance between approximately 50 seconds and 39 seconds. And my hypothesis is hose length, hose friction, or pipe friction. This had the lowest pressure at all, and it has the shortest amount of pipe. You can see it's still flowing there. This has some amount of friction, more so than that short chunk of pipe, and the traditional delivery method has the longest amount of pipe. So let's try these other two methods for down here to add some friction to better replicate real life results. I have now purged all of the air out of the system. We can see it's not flowing very fast because there's now about, I estimate, 150 feet of hose there. Now watch how easy this pump starts up once I shut this valve. There, it's going on its own. Okay, let's test that output again. And time, 43 seconds. Huh, surprisingly similar. Okay, let's try the valve modulation method again. Oh, one thing I want to show you before I do that. The pressure here is very steady using the hose as a buffer. I'm getting a very constant reading of 8.2 PSI. So that should make it a lot easier to match this directly to that. Let's make sure the hose is filled first. Open too much and it killed the ram pump. The pressure is bouncing all over the place now. Okay, it's jumping between 7.5 and 8.4. I think that's as close as we're gonna get it. Maybe. Oh, now it's low. You know, we'll test it there. And time, 38 seconds. Huh. So what did we learn? We learned that while the output of a restricted valve and an artificial back pressure are in the same ballpark as the normal output through a long hose going up a hill, it's just not the same. And I don't know why that is. If you have a hypothesis, let me know in the comments down below.